Can you believe it? Even I can't believe it. Did it actually happen? Has Games Workshop named a miniature after me? Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking here. You're thinking, well, it's about time. It's about time that there was some mutual recognition here, that there was some sort of respect shown. And I would 100% not agree with that at all. In fact, I struggle to get that bit of that bit out because that would be an absurd thing to think. And that would be indicative, I suspect, of a sizable ego, which is something that I do not foresee myself ever really having. There's too much self-deprecation going on there. But I can understand why a lot of you over the last couple of days, and it's been like it's genuinely been a lot, have got excited for a moment, perhaps on my behalf, perhaps just because it's hilarious that it is this close. And let me know that at first glance, it almost looks like there's something going on with this new Blood Bowl player, but there isn't. Yes, this is Kiroth Kraken Eye, and I have received so many messages <laughs> over the last couple of days, because let's face it, if you watch this channel regularly, it's probably fair to say that you might look at that and insert an eye where there is no eye. And to be honest, the first time I saw this, for a second my brain went, Wait, what? And then I, you know, realised, no, that's not what it is. But there's a, there's a good number of people who I don't think noticed the lack of that eye. I really don't think it's a reference in any way, shape or form. I think it's just the name of this particular Blood Bowl player. But it has been so much fun to see all the different reactions appear. Oh, Lord. I really can't stress enough just how little this Blood Bowl model has got to do with me. I really can't stress that enough. But you know what? We've taken a look at most of the other Blood Bowl players that they've put out there. So we may as well take a look at old Kiroth here. It's really getting tricky to say that. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I actually do really like it. It's really cool. Really nice sort of gold Kraken mask. I love the tentacles that are coming down out of the front of it. Very Cthulhu-esque there. Very nice. And uh, the overall pose of it, again... I really like, I like the overall styling of bits like the armor sections. The cloak is absolutely fantastic. I mean, if I was going to be some sort of like fantasy American football slash rugby player, I mean, I would totally rock a helmet like that. Like, that's great. That's amazing. It looks awesome. You already know that I like me a good cloak as well. And that's a good cloak. The fact that it's like, it seems to be carved from some sort of skin and it's got all those different like textures and almost like a sort of veiny feel to it. I really like that and it looks like it would be the most fun to dry brush, which I don't know whether that's what they actually did, but you could totally get away with it and it would look grand. Now, of course, it's nowhere near the Necromunda scale of lunacy that we do like around here, but it is a fun little model. And a little part of me kind of wants him, not because of the similarity in name, but because actually I... I feel like I feel like you could do something really fun with this, like sea based. Like there's a few different Ideneth Deepkin models that have got a bunch of like water and stuff, and I don't know. I feel like you could have like the priest of some sort of monstrosity running from it would be a really fun little diorama. I don't know what the monstrosity would be, only that I don't know. I just feel like that would work. I love the idea of someone in that getup summoning something absolutely horrific and suddenly going. Actually, you know what? This is a terrible idea. I'm leaving. I mean, he's already got the running pose down. Admittedly, the, uh, the the football might be a little bit difficult to mess around with. And it does look like he's about to deck someone. But I think you deck someone if they're in the way. If you're running away from some sort of newly arisen sea god. I will say the art they've done for it is absolutely amazing as well. I love this. This is so cool. Like, it looks so good. I am a little bit sad that the main model itself didn't get quite as much of a billowy sort of squid squid sort of skin cape thing, or is that even squid skin? Well, like some sort of turtle or something? A clawed turtle? Do turtles have claws? I don't know. Google says yes, they do have claws. What a pointless tangent. Anyway, the art is fantastic. The only thing that would make this model better is if the cloak was like the cloak in the art. Apart from that, I really like this. Now, it wasn't just the lad with a similar name to this channel that was revealed this week. We've also got a new Auric War Boss, but this is a little sneaky preview, a little sneaky peek at stuff that we're going to see for the Nova Open as well. So this is the lad, and he's big, and he's brutish, and he's thuggish, and he's got an excellent mask. I nearly said helmet, but it's not really a helmet, because surely the helmet needs to cover more of the top of the head than the bottom of the head. 
Although, is that even true? I'm not Googling that as well. Look, I think this is actually quite a cool model. The massive amount of armor going over the shoulders, over like the back of the head as well, with that kind of really hunched posture. I like the fact that it's, there's a lot of like metal work going over the shoulders and the back of the neck. That mask is horrendous in a good way. It looks kind of nightmarish. The weapons, as always, look brutal, half forged and half just found, really. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty intimidating. I'm not too bothered about the totem on the back of the guy. I think I'd actually prefer the guy to be just raised up slightly more off the base and lose the totem. It is kind of cool, but it's not adding a huge amount for me. But the rest of it, the chains as well, like the kind of chainmail cloak, that's a really, really cool touch. I like that a lot. I mean, when it comes to big, chunky lads like this, lads who've got the girth, I just always find myself thinking that they look grand. Although I would like to know where the big old, where the big pig with the riders on it is. Where is that model and why has that not been released yet? Has it been released and I've just missed it somehow? I don't think so, but I haven't seen any around and I want that to be out as soon as possible really some nice alternate angles here of the lad yeah i mean the iron jaw stuff is is just really fun the texture that they have on the metal the way it's really roughly beaten into shape and stuff it adds a lot of character and it it's very like it's very particular to that particular army like you just know what sort of arc you're looking at whether it's by the size or more accurately by the type of weapon and the type of armor that they've got on it's a really nice consistent look that is also kind of random from one model to the next I like it a lot. Lots of character. Also, I do love a nice bit of wrapping around the haft of weapons. It's very fun to paint. It's very fun to get a nice effect on. Yeah, nice. Now, as for the preview itself, we're going to see some 40k stuff. I assume the Space Marine stuff that wasn't shown off when it was Tyranids versus Space Marines for the Battle of the Revealed. Um, then we've got some AOS, Horus Heresy, of course. The Old World, it's going to be super interesting to see what they show off for that, actually. Uh, Warcry and Warhammer Underworlds plus Blood Bowl. As you can see... The actual times for the reveals are either Wednesday the 30th of August at 9pm EDT or Thursday the 31st of August at 2am BST. Now, I make no promises, okay? Because I, I don't sleep well at the best of times and with two children, the idea of being awake and streaming at 2am fills me with the sort of cold dread that really only like existential dread usually conjures up but if there is enough positive feedback and when i stream later on tonight we're going to be doing just a little bit of cheeky painting just a bit of a hobby hangout if there is enough support then maybe we will stream the reveals i know it's going to be two o'clock in the morning but maybe just once we can try and make it work we'll see what happens it's mostly down to you guys. We'll see what the reaction is like. If you all collectively go, no, I don't bother, just do a video afterwards, I'll do that. But if you like the idea of us doing that, then we will. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know what you think of those two lads in the comments down below. The one that definitely isn't named after me and the new Iron Jaws fella. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, patrons and YouTube members. There's going to be something exclusive for you going up tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Also, there's an affiliate link for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>